now time to have standalone sessions over here and the first topic is about building an inclusive workplace at Owens Corning India. So may I invite on stage the HR manager Shilpika Jain and the leader for talent management uh, we have Avijit Jadav. Both of them onto the stage and they shall take this forward here. Yeah. A huge round of applause everyone. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the post lunch session. I am Abhijit and joining me is Shilpi Gajan uh, from Owens Corning. Happy to be here back for the second consecutive year. Last year we talked about uh, our experience of women in operations at Owens Corning. This year we intend to talk about how we are building inclusive work environment at Owens Corning. As I do that, let me start with playing a uh, video message which is from our global vice president, inclusion and diversity, Liam Megra. Dear attendees of the India Diversity Forum Annual Conclave, it's an honor to address you all today on behalf of Owens Corning, a company that is committed to promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion in every aspect of our business. At Owens Corning, our inclusion and diversity aspiration is that we attract, develop, and retain the best talent in the world by building a culture of appreciation where everyone is heard and appreciated for the unique value they bring. That commitment will result in diverse, engaged, and capable teams. We recognize that promoting inclusion and diversity is an ongoing journey, and there is always more work to do. That's why we've set ambitious goals to increase the representation of women, people of color, and representation from other dimensions of diversity in our workforce and our leadership positions. We are committed to partnering with organizations that share our commitment to diversity and inclusion. Through our partnerships with organizations like India Diversity Forum, we are able to leverage their expertise and resources to promote diversity and inclusion more broadly and at the same time share experiences of our IND journey. In closing, I want to emphasize we are committed to continuing our work to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in everything we do. And we look forward to working with all of you to make progress on this important journey. Thank you for your time and attention. I wish you all a productive and inspiring conference. You heard Leah talk about Owens Corning IND philosophy. Owens Corning, we are a uh, global enterprise. Uh, we have a presence in more than 31 countries. Uh, we are a manufacturing company uh, with more than 100 manufacturing plants, uh, 19,000 employee workforce. Uh, 2022, we closed with 8, 9.8 .8 as a uh, global revenues. At Owens Corning, we, we are in a uh, journey where we continue to be the leader in corporate responsibility. As a responsible corporate citizen uh, in this journey, we are proud of the uh, awards and the recognitions which are bestowed on us. Few of them which are uh, listed over here are the recognitions which has been awarded to us in year 2022. One among them is an, uh, is an recognition which is from Diversity Inc., an organization which uh, annually ranks U.S. companies for diversity, inclusion, and equity. At Owens Corning, we do have a 2030 sustainability goals, and as a part of that goals, we aspire to be a net positive company. When I say a net positive company, we intend to contribute back to the environment or uh, through our people and products positively, more than what we consume as a part of our processes. For this, we do have strategic priorities which are being de defined, which includes one, advancement, or advance, advancement on our inclusion and diversity. When we talk about in, uh, advancement on inclusion and diversity, we are not limiting ourselves to the workspaces where we operate, but we are also extending it over to our stakeholders and in the community. Our aspiration is to see a society where people are being appreciated, not despite the differences, but for the differences what they have. We have been operating in India for more than 25 years now with the manufacturing facilities at uh, Taluja, Mumbai and at Silvasa. We have a corporate office uh, here at uh, Pawai, Mumbai. For the next section, I invite my colleague Shilpika Jain. Thank you, Abhijit, for setting in the context for today's presentation. Let me start by talking about uh, the 
how part of it. The last year we were here, by, we were at uh, IDF and we spoke about the women in operations journey, which is very difficult to have in a manufacturing setup. We did hear our panelist, Ajanta, uh, from JSM to talk about it. So this year we are back again to talk about how we went about doing that journey, basically about building an inclusive work culture. Let's start by talking about an IND vision. Our IND vision, which you see on the screen, basically means that every employee who comes in the organization is heard, valued, appreciated for the individuality and uniqueness which they bring to the table. Owen Corning has a slightly different approach towards IND. What, are the, what is the common terminology we've been hearing since morning, which is or commonly heard is diversity and inclusion. I, uh, D, and I. But Owen Corning believes that it starts with I, which is inclusion, and diversity will automatically follow. Such that an if, there is, if the environment is not inclusive enough, diversity will probably fail to thrive and grow. That's how important inclusion and inclusiveness is. Moving forward, there are three main themes or pillars, which is growing, uh, improving diversity, growing engagement, and building capabilities, which bring life to our vision. And the strategic objective, which you see below, are, um, are the enablers to help us achieve this vision. I'll throw in some numbers here. I'll throw in some numbers here. Uh, this is our India IND aspirations. 2017, we were a negligible female population. 2021, uh, we were at 9%. We closed last year with 12%. And by 2025, we aim to have a 25% diverse workforce. And by diverse workforce, I don't only mean gender diversity, but also including all other forms of diversity. Again, uh, again uh, stressing on the point that it is not an easy thing for a manufacturing setup. Owens Corning has a beautiful framework when it comes to uh, building an inclusive, inclusive environment. There are four main aspects to it. First and foremost being organization and leadership's commitment, which you saw in the morning when our MD Dhananjay Tapasvi was here, who took the pledge, IND pledge, with so many other industry leaders. Also, we have our operation leaders and HR leaders back at the table there who are spending an entire workday here just to understand IND and take it forward. That's how, that's how our leadership is committed. Second being growing uh, engagement through ERGs, which is employee resource groups, steering committees, councils, and governance. So much so that we have few days in a year which are dedicatedly uh, towards IND, where we propagate, advocate, celebrate inclusion and diversity. All employees come together to understand the various nuances of IND and celebrate that fact. Third being building capabilities in the area of inclusive leadership, removing unconscious biases, and cohort-specific programs, which is focused development programs for our diverse talent so that they improve and grow with the organization. Last but not the least, the aspect is valuing differences, which we all know about, which is done through surveys uh, to understand and hear our employees. But not just our employees, we take it a step ahead to include all our stakeholders, our customers, our vendors, suppliers, and also the community. We believe that we take all of them together in this IND journey forward. There are various tools, affinity councils, groups, and programs which help us to build an inclusive environment. Affinity councils are nothing but employee-led employee groups and organizations which work towards uh, taking the IND agenda of the company forward. Uh, these groups, uh, employees can join voluntarily, learn and share, and become an ally to a particular uh, resource group. For example, we heard someone in the morning talk about less women in sales. So we have a cohort or we have an employee resource group just for women in sales. Like we have one for women in operations, we have one for the pride community, so on and so forth. We have programs and tools like appreciating each other's culture, you can see it right there, cultural appreciation program, uh, celebrating days of understanding across the year, having uh, mentoring programs for women and other employees as well. These tools help us to build an inclusive environment. I'll invite my uh, colleague back to talk about two such important tools. 
when there are multiple programs and initiatives which we have, let me specifically talk about two such initiatives which we have in our organization. The first being uh, inclusive leadership uh, training. Uh, this, uh, this offering is now being rolled out in the organization and we intend to cover all our employees through it. When we talk about inclusive leadership, as humans, it's quite obvious for us or natural for us to build assumptions. Now, these assumptions can be at times um, incomplete, inaccurate. Also, as people, it's very obvious for us or natural for us uh, to get associated uh, when we have things in common. But that kind of behavior does not support inclusive work environment. The way we respond to differences, the way we treat people, uh, has a significant implication about people uh, when they are at work. Through our inclusive scale, we help people understand their behaviors uh, on how they respond to differences. Being aware about this helps people to practice more a culture of appreciation <coughs> and in turn, we are able to build more inclusive work environment. This enables people to bring their authentic self to work uh, without any uh, without any issues. The second part uh, I would like to talk is about the WeConnect template which we use. Typically we use it uh, more in the teams where we encourage team members to talk about and share using this template where people where people share about themselves on the different dimensions about the way they have been uh, uh, brought up influence and shaped up the way uh, the individual is. Uh, that's how it allows people to share about self and also it enables people to understand the differences. This helps us in building a team which is transparent and authentic. Let me play a short video in closing uh, where few of our employees share about how they find working at Owens Corny. My name is Shreya Haleli. I was the first female employee who was the operation engineer. It's been more than six plus years now. I'm working with Owen Scorning. And OC believes in inclusion and diversity, which is uh, helping to create a healthy work culture by building our aspirations higher and brighter. Hi, I'm Preetesh. I have been working in OC for last two years and I am thankful to all OC team for giving me this job opportunity. Also guiding me from time to time. Thank you. I am Neha Manju, part of Owens Corning Early Career Program in Manufacturing. I completed my bachelor's in Mechanical Engineering from IIT Bombay in 2022, post which I joined Engineering and Maintenance Subdivision here at OC. And the best part about working here is that I feel I'm being acknowledged, accepted and respected for who I am, irrespective of my age and gender. I feel my opinions are being valued and I'm an integral part of the team. I joined the first time in August 2020. I didn't have any job in the company. I got a loan department in the first place. I got a job in the training department. I got a job in the first place. 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 I appreciate Owens Con for driving IND across the plan and designing the program like Shine to empower the women workforce. IND supported me to enhance my acceptance in critical roles. Myself, I am like customer service leader in India. Over the last one year, I have been a part of the Global Building Committee. To an extent, it is providing me an opportunity to learn and understand various IND initiatives across, which helps to influence global and local BIM initiatives. My name is Rashti Chauhan. मैं रेड क्रॉस संस्था से जुड़ी हुई हूँ। पिछले साल जो ओवन कंपनी के द्वारा ये सब सिखाया गया था पेन होल्डर, ज्वेलरी, तिरोन ये सब माइक्रो दोरी में से सिखाया गया था जो मैंने सिखा था जिसके बदल मुझे मेरे भविष्य में रोजगार के लिए मदद रूप होगा। At Owens Corning India, we are committed to create more inclusive environment at workplace and community around us.